Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. It's time for another weekly recruiting segment. So with that, let's welcome in recruiting insider James Smith. Jimmy, how's it going? Going well, going well. Uh, love recruiting, good time of year. Glad to be on today. <laughs> well, it's great to have you. And you wrote this week that cornerback Trayvon Mullen named a list of his top 10. And Florida State was leading LSU. And so what, how firm is that, first of all? And what would a team gain with him coming to their team? Uh, as far as how firm uh, that leaderboard is with LSU at number two behind Florida State, I'd have to say that's real shaky. I mean, for the last few months, we've heard LSU is his leader. We've heard that out of his mouth uh, in, in a, at least a dozen interviews over the last few months. So uh, it shocked a lot of people yesterday when he, when he announced that the Seminoles were on top of his leaderboard. And, and if you were to try to gauge how close LSU is, I'd have to say uh, he could be waking up today feeling differently. I think it's that close of a race. So uh, LSU is definitely still in it. And let's look back real fast at the opening regional. Uh, Dylan Moses was the first underclassman in the nation to receive an invitation from University Lab, of course. So he's been committed to LSU from the start of his high school career. So, Jimmy, what would a team, it looks like LSU at this point, uh, gain with him in 2017? You know, we were talking about it, Rachel. I mean, as an eighth grader, this kid was having offers from, from coast to coast, and he's just a rare athlete. And every chance I get to see him, he improves. So uh, while a lot of guys, you know, uh, develop early on and maybe hit their uh, ceiling and kind of plateau off towards the end of their high school career, Dylan just keeps getting better and better. And he's such a versatile athlete. Uh, ultimately, his size may determine what position he plays. If he has another growth spurt in him, could see him put his hand in the dirt as a defensive end. Uh, right now, it looks like he's, he's shaping up to be a linebacker at the next level and a phenomenal linebacker at that. And with LSU's multiple fronts, running a four-man and a three-man front, uh, you could see him involved in different blitz packages. He could probably play anywhere at the linebacker positions in either system, which makes him so unique. So uh, Dylan Moses is going to be the first 2017 prospect uh, to, to receive his Nike opening invitation. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes up there and really pushes for the title, the combine champion title, uh, which would open the door for a first time consecutive uh, title winner. So it'll be interesting to see how he does when he actually gets to Oregon um, because it'll be the first time he's able to compete at that level with the top uh, seniors in the country. Absolutely. It would be definitely, like you said, monumental for an underclassman to mm -hmm. win the title for two years in a row. Well, Jimmy, thanks a lot as always. Well, thanks for having me. And thank you for watching Talking Tigers. We'll see you Friday.